with you. I, it's probably my uh, my hook, but um, I'm just trying to work out precisely the the, uh, the events because uh, I'm a bit confused at the moment. In, in paragraph 2.4, you say that the site was bought by Manson Airport Limited in December 2013. Yes, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Right. And then you say in, in subparagraph Roman 5, 14th of May 2014, the airport closes and the civil aviation license is closed. Yeah. And then you say summer 2014, much of the infrastructure associated with the former aviation use is removed. Yes. So is this all under the auspices of Manston Skyport Limited? Yes. And that they then sold the site, did they? Ah, that's the confusion. Okay, so to, in the autumn of 2014, they engaged with uh, regeneration specialists, uh, Chris Musgrave and Trevor Carter, who joined the existing uh, landowner. Because, you see, it, we've, we've heard perhaps this lady called Ms. Glow. Yes. Um, I wasn't quite sure where she fits into this. <laughs> So Miss Glow effectively owns Manson Skyport. So Manson Skyport, Skyport was one of her companies who bought the site in December 13. That, so that was Miss Glow. That, that's her company. That was Miss Glow's company. Skyport. That right. company ran the airport with and brought on board the turnaround team to attempt to make the airport viable and successful. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, reached the conclusion that it wasn't a viable going concern closed the airport in May 2014. Over the course of summer 2014, they started working up an understandable plan B. And as part of that process, towards the autumn, they joined forces with Chris Musgrave and Trevor Kartner, who are experienced in repurposing similar types of very large strategic disuse sites around the country. Chris Musgrave and Trevor Kartner. Trevor Kartner. Kartner. Is that C-A-R-T-N-E-R? -E yeah. Okay. So... And they are the applicants to Stonehill Park. So that's a separate... The, the, we talk about... The, the, I mean, the, the appeals were originally made in the name of Lothian Shell. 718. Yeah. Yes, Lothian Which then changed its name to Stonehill Park. So what's Park. the relationship between Lothian... <coughs> 718 and Manston Skyport. I can't give an exact answer to that question because there's a degree of uncertainty between those two companies in my mind. Well, so I was actually going to mention this and I've taken instructions on this. I was waiting to see what the, what the witness knew first. I, what, what, <coughs> I would like to, to, to assist on this and what, I, what I'm about to say, if I can say it at this stage or I can do it later, is a matter of public record. But it will help if it is directed into your very question. Shall I deal with that now or afterwards? Um, well, I was. If, if, you, you were going to deal with the, the issue of the relationship between Manston. You see, I, I think that the, the, the question I was going to yes, ask yes, yes. Is, 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 is that you. you in, in, we've been talking about paragraph 2.4. Yeah. But then in paragraph 6.29. You say the appellant, which I assume is, is Lothian uh, Shell, well, acquired the former <coughs> air airfield site in September 2014, and then it says with the aspiration to comprehensively redevelop it for mixed use development. Yeah, so that, that admittedly is slightly confusing for you. The September 2014 date is when Chris Musgrave and Joe Carter joined forces to right. work up the alternative redevelopment proposals. But this was of the previous owner. Uh, the, the specific details of the, the land ownership arrangement, I, I'm not privy to. No, no, but it says the appellant acquired, acquired the former airfield site in September 2014, which appears to contradict your, yep. you're saying in 2.4 Roman numeral 4, where you say that the site was bought by Manson Skyport Limited in 2013 yep. December. It's, it's the use of word acquired is it's, it's confusing. And I, 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 I think uh, Mr. King should be able to provide some clarity on land ownership position um, shortly. Yeah, okay. And the, I mean, the other 
confusion that I have is that the evidence was presented earlier on in the inquiry to the effect that when the appellants acquired the site, it was their real aim to run the airport as an airport. Yes. But then in paragraph 6.29, you seem to be saying precisely the reverse. You're saying That's the, truth. Um, the aspiration to comprehensively redevelop it for mixed use development, the appellant has no intention to reopen the site as an airport. Yeah, so that so, is. I mean, that doesn't accord with certainly what Mr. King told me yesterday. Yeah. Look at the sequence of events. Mm. Um, bought by Madison Skyport in, Sky in December 2013. Every intention to run this as a viable airport. So in 2013, we're saying it was bought by Manston Skyport Limited. Yeah. Ran it as an airport. Run it as an airport, yeah. Closed it in May 2014 because it wasn't viable. So it was May 2014, yeah. Autumn 2014. Chris Musgrave, Chef Carter, on board. Became. Joint owners have an interest in the site, and the reference to the landowner in paragraph 6.29 is effectively Chris Musgrave and Chuck Carter. They had, they were not involved when the site was operated as an air force. They became involved about four or five months after the site, the airport closed. And the then, didn't actually acquire the site though in, in 2000, September 2000. The, the appellant Stonehill Park Limited, which was over shelf, they invested into the site. That, that, that's the wording which I apologise for confusing. But I think Mr. King needs to provide the clarity on that because I'm not privy to it. Well, it would be helpful to be, to be clear because, as things stand at the moment, it isn't very clear. Yeah. Um, having said that, Mr. King, I think we can assist you. Yes, I can assist you. All I was going to tell you because it is a matter of public record is who the current, I mean, to clarify who the current site owners are. I mean, it, it, Stonehill Park is the new name for Lothian Shoals 718. They are the appellants. Anne Globe is not a director of Stonehill Park Limited, nor does she have a controlling interest in it. That's all a matter of public record and can be checked if necessary. Um, <coughs> Any further than that, I wasn't going to go, and I might need to take further instructions if you need any further Well, no, it's just really rather, rather confusing, Mr. King. I, I, all I, I mean, I just need, I really just want to understand the train of events, because there's been a lot of emphasis made on the fact that the airport is no longer, is no longer a viable concern. Um, and, and according, that's your, your case. Uh, obviously, that's disputed by uh, River Road. Um, but I just wanted to be clear on the, the train of events, really, that that that, uh, that led to, to, to that conclusion being um, well, drawn. I, I mean, I mean the, the the conclusion that 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 they were not able to run the airport badly. I think it's perfectly clear that was some Manston Skyport limited. Yes, I mean that's what I'm trying to establish. That was it. That was closed in May. May as it were, that it was not liable, because we was, I've been referred to various names floating around, this globe, Manston, Skyport Limited, Lothian uh, 718, Shell. Well, they have to come on the scene by then. No, 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 but uh, no, I just need to be clear who, what happened at what point. I'm not, I'm not seeking to make any Man point at all. Manston Skyport bought the site in December 2013, and they closed the airport in May 2014. Okay. 20, yeah, so we've established that they bought the site in December 2013. Yeah. Um, they closed the airport in May 2014 yeah. because it wasn't viable. Yeah. And then you said in autumn 2014, uh, Chris Musgrave and Trevor Carter all became joint owners. A lot they they took ownership along with Manston uh, <laughs> Skyport. Is that right? They are controlling directors of the site. The details of which I think we need to update you on later once you take instructions. So a change of ownership took place in the autumn of 2014. That I'm, that I'm going to have to yeah. verify for you. I mean, yeah. But then you see that then we talk about in September 2014, say 6.29 says the appellant acquired the former airfield in September 2014, which appears to be 
contradictory to what's said in 2.4 with the aspiration of comprehensive redevelopment. Yes, that development took place in the autumn. So, Airport bought in December 13, closed in May 2014 after they, 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 they failed to make it going to concern. Then, four months later, the reference to the site being acquired relates to Chris Musgrove and Phil Cartman acquiring an interest in the site. So, they acquired an interest? Yeah, we need to get into the of that. And they have no intent, they had no intention of using this in airport. Their intention was to repurpose it. I think maybe if it said acquired an interest, that would probably make it clearer. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, not sure you, I'm not sure that's right. I think the site was acquired. So let me take instructions so that I'll give you the exactly correct. Yeah. Yeah. The question I'm, I'm going to try and take instructions on is what happened in September 2014. Mm. Mm. That seems to be. Yes. The, the point which, if I may say so, I understand that you're, you're not certain. Uh, <laughs> no, no, and then, as I say, the, uh, the, 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 the aspiration at that point is to, is, has changed from oh, yeah. That's one correct. to run the airport yep. to, one, to, to redevelop it. There's a material change in events at that point in time and the, and in terms of the aspiration for the site. Right. Okay. Um, well, uh, yes, if, Mr. King, that would be most helpful if you could take instructions. All right. And then Thank you. Um, in terms of the buildings that, that are occupied, I, I, I suspect the easiest way to resolve that is, is through the site visit tomorrow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. We'll see when we put what's occupied and what was not I don't think I have any further questions. Thank you, Mr. Okay. I don't have any re-examination. No re but I do need to take instructions on that point. Right. And I think I should do it from now on rather than leaving it till the morning. Right. Don't, don't you. I think it's a place that it's all you would probably like to have the information. Are you suggesting that we adjourn for a Yeah, I am. Really. I don't think it will take more than a couple of minutes. But I just need, I don't want to sit here and listen to somebody while well, everyone else is in Oh, all right, well, um, um, we'll, we'll, we'll adjourn in just one minute. I, I wondered, if, well, whilst we, um, before we adjourn, whether there's been any further progress on, on, on the schedule that we were discussing yesterday, the Caxton document date, how far we've got with progressing that. Well, there's been no time yes. to talk. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, all right. Um, we'll have to do that overnight. Do that overnight. It's all facts. Yes, indeed. Um, all right, Mr. King. Oh, only five minutes. Yes, well, it's, it, I mean that's fine. We can we can resume again at um, quarter to four. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's thank fine. you. <laughs>